Welcome to the Sensitive's 10th year, year anniversary! Happy birthday! The story of the sensitive started 10 years ago uh, when uh, me and Martin and Anton, our uh, first drummer, uh, was sitting on a festival in Boling uh, called Peace and Love Festival and we were like talking about how we should start a band and how we should go on tour and all that stuff that you yeah, that's, that bit. stuff you sometimes say to people when you have some beers and uh, a good time with your friends um, we've all been there yeah but uh, actually we did that we started <clears throat> this band like many other great ideas you get when you're drunk that was actually one of the best ideas we've ever had I think hmm? and and I was in another band at the moment and I had written a song it was like way too weird for that band and so I also thought like yeah we should we should start a band that is weird enough to play those kind of songs and this is that song it's the first song we ever wrote and it's called weird things happens at night <laughs> Something I didn't understand When I'm at Laura One of the main reasons why we started the band was that we wanted to tour a lot and therefore we thought it made perfect sense to play our very first show ever in Germany instead of in Sweden and uh, we actually got that show recorded and we're really happy to say we gotten a lot better since that show. Fall. You 
One of the best things on about going on tour is probably meeting new and old friends uh, that really be become really good friends that we meet over and over again on tour. Um, and uh, some of them, like Harry Gump, for instance, he just he he didn't just uh, play the he didn't just play the accordion and uh, sing. On the song that you're going to hear soon, he also uh, sent us Feffy and yeah. a lot of other good things. A little bit of a supply package for a band that haven't been on tour for a long time. <laughs> exactly. Um, and with him on that song, we've got a lot of good friends like uh, Nick from uh, Bloodstrings. We got, got Jan, the Black Elephant Band, and uh, Affe. Just Affe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's uh, how the fuck I'm gonna tell you about <laughs> one of the most miserable days on tour. It was somewhere on the Autobahn or whatever it's called in Austria and we slept on a gas station because the show that we were supposed to play has had been cancelled and um, only a few days before uh, someone broke into our van um, broke the locks so we couldn't lock the back door of the van uh, but anyway we uh, we slept in this parking lot uh, outside of a gas station and uh, the day after we drove to Vienna to play a show we were gonna play support on a label tour from Sunny Bastards and although we had like all these shitty experiences behind us we were really excited about the show because we were expecting it to be a lot of people because we thought like it was a label tour with five or six bands and the only problem was that since we also played we were like the seventh support band which meant that we played really fucking early when there was nobody in the room except for a few people from the Sunny Bastards crew and a few members from the other bands which were like 15 people in a room for a couple of hundred people. So it felt a little bit off <laughs> to say the least, but we still like gave it a hundred percent because that's, that's the only reasonable thing to do when you play a show. And after a few beers and a little chat with, with the crew, Sunny Bastards offered to help us. And since then they have released all of our albums we ever did. So I think that's a pretty good lesson to, bring with you that to like always always give it a hundred percent because nothing good is gonna come from playing a show half-assed so and so the first album they 
they put out with us was Boredom Fighters and one of our favorite song that also turned into a lot of people's favorite song by us I think was Old Fashioned Fuck Off and I think it ended up on some some magazine sampler CD I think it was Ox or something like that and all of a sudden when we were on tour people could sing along in a song and we that was like something new for us but it was a really cool it was a really cool feeling to play that song and like see and hear the audience sing that chorus back at us and yeah therefore that's a favorite song of ours still and here it is in a little bit of a different version ta da Heut. different people with us on tour to help us to sell merchandise and uh, being our mental support and uh, playing some songs with us uh, on stage and uh, yeah just helping us to be a good team yeah 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 uh, and uh, we are really really grateful for for the help that we got through all of these years and uh, one person uh, who helped us a lot with very different kind of things it's been music videos and it's been design artwork design and uh, 
playing and singing on songs uh, and yeah of course helping us to sell merchandise and talk to all the drunk ass people out there who wants to talk <laughs> and that's Johanna 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 she is just the best the next song that you will hear is uh, dedication is dedication and she can also play organs the organ the or organ the organ yeah she she could play she can play a lot of yeah she can play a lot, a lot of of, of, of different stuff, instruments, instruments and and stuff <laughs> yeah play the fucking song we, let's play the song thank you johanna <laughs> dull and boring. You have a deep feeling of that you're not satisfied. I have a solution for you. Sign up for the Sensitive's Patreon site. You've got three options. The Sensitive, the Boredom Fighter, and the Hole in the Sky Kicker. Go there right now. Patreon.com slash The Sensitive and sign up. Uh, one of the most hopeful things that we see when we go on tour is strong scenes for subculture uh, in small cities. Whether it's the L86 in Finstervalde or Balloonfabrik in Augsburg, uh, it's, it's really nice to see that people come together and do great stuff, like not to make money or to just to just to make boring cities a whole lot less boring. Exactly. One city that we always enjoy going to is is Hof. Uh, 
with the what we call the Hof Rock City crew. <laughs> Indeed. Um, which is a bunch of people that has helped us out with a lot of shows. Um, whether it's on a club or it's in a rehearsal room. Um, it's always nice coming there. One of those people of that crew is uh, Maxi or Maximilian Adler. And uh, he made a really, really nice cover that I think like it's really about that coming to a small city with a strong subculture because it's called Coming Home. Didn't come here for nothing I came for something I came for a place where we can scream from the top of our lungs And I came for a place where you and me can be ourselves Nobody has to pretend Sensitors, uh, happy birthday for your band. Um, so glad that we meet back in the day. And uh, yeah, I hope we see you soon on the road, as soon as shows are possible again. Cheers. <laughs> So the last tour we did before we had to take a small break because of uh, unknown reasons something happened in the yeah world. something happened last year we did a tour together with death by horse and the bloodstrings and it was a really really cool thing to do with those two great bands because we had such a great time together and we uh, became like a really good team and friends the next song you will hear is a cover from the bloodstrings from uh, one of our songs C major. Things that I don't understand in C major. Exactly.
So the next song is, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know. What... It's a song from uh, Love Songs for Haters and we wanted to play this song, or we wanted to... Um... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Here's, yeah. The song. Here's the song. Here's the song. shows in Berlin and I think for probably like the four or five first years it was like really shitty shows then a lot of more people started coming to the shows and it turned into great shows and somewhere there we got to know Patsy Stone who we ended up playing a whole lot of shows together with and also became good friends over the years and and they sent us a little a little greeting for our 10 year anniversary here it is Hey, 10 years anniversary of The Sensitive! The Sensitive, the best band in Sweden! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't be there with you tonight. Yeah. Normally we would play a show now together, so all we have is this shitty video, which comes now, maybe. And with a new song, Music by My Side, it's for yes. this times. Yes. And yes. it makes you feel alive. So it goes up to you, also, to everyone in the world.
So when it was time for us to record the Love Songs for Haters album, we brought our dear friend and super mega demon producer Eric and all of our gear with us to a, a cabin in the woods and set it all up to record the album. And I don't really know why we did that, but it was it was cool. <laughs> it was really it nice. It was nice feeling and it was cheaper than renting a studio, I guess. Yeah, yeah. maybe that was. Yeah, like... but the the album turned out really, really great. And this is one of the less the less played songs from the album, but like one of our favorite songs actually. And it's called The Puzzle. <laughs> Good. Um, I have some really exciting news for you because you are going on tour. And um, I've been working day and night, and that's why I look so sleepy. I'm sorry for that. But you're going to play a tour in December this year. Uh, you're going to play in Transflow, Bronx, Bike, Berlin, Nuremberg, Zurich, Augsburg, and Milchau. And in 22, in March, uh, you're starting with the second leg of the tour. And you're playing a lot of shows also. So um, we're very happy about it. Um, guys, guys, are you still there? Hello, Martin? Hello, guys? We need to talk about marketing, but come on. Are you still there? Hello? Hello?
Thank you for watching <laughs> and thank you for celebrate with us on our 10th anniversary. Yeah, to 10 more years. To 10, ten more, more years! years. <laughs> No!